I believe she's dead. I think they, I think he killed her. Emotions running high after a guilty verdict in the Sean Phillips trial. Baby Kate's great grandmother watched and screamed at Sean Phillips as he left the courthouse. He deserves to go to prison for 15 years. I hope he spends a whole 15. Inside the courtroom, Phillips' parents, who have stood by their son, quietly sobbed. The defense insists Sean is innocent. He's told from the beginning exactly what happened that day. Has not changed. It's not a story that he came up with because it was the same the whole time. It was the facts. Now, if you want to chase the story, I think you should be looking elsewhere. During the trial, the defense placed the blame on baby Kate's mother, Ariel Cortland, saying she's a liar and was the last one with the baby. Cortland, visibly upset, would not talk to anyone after the verdict was read. You don't want to make a comment at all, Ariel? But the prosecution insists Ariel had nothing to do with the baby's disappearance and says the right man is going to prison. The timeline was the key thing in this case. We were able to account for Ariel's time from the time they passed the hospital on the surveillance camera all the way to 6 o'clock the next morning and that she did not have any opportunity or motive or means to do anything with Catherine. But Sean, on the other hand, was he, we, he, we were unable to account for his time. We were unable to account for his locations. And he says the search for baby Kate doesn't end here. It remains an open investigation. Closure will be difficult for a while. Closure will be difficult until we find her.